Hi all. This video is on the nitrogen hydrogen AC leak detection system that we do. Um, so we're going to just run through what, what's included with the kit and the different options that can be got with it. And then we're just going to show it finding a leak on this 151 Nissan Qashqai. So uh, first of all, we'll give a run through what comes with the kit. Uh, so the first thing that we'll just run through is what, what's included with the base kit. So the base kit um, includes the trolley, uh, not, not the cylinder gas, just the trolley. And the trolley is uh, included for 10 litre gas bottles. And uh, also the base kit includes the pressure regulator. It includes the hose from the pressure regulator to the gauge and manifold and includes the gauge and manifold. So that's what comes with the base kit. So then you have to decide which, which which systems you want to be able to do leak detection on. So if you want to do 134A, one, you need to pick or add the hoses for 134A. And if you want to do 1234YF, you need to pick and add these as well. So if you want to do both gases, you need to add um, the, the, the optional hoses for both. So then the sniffer, the nitrogen hydrogen tracer, the, the the leak detecting sniffer is optional as well so if you can you can pick this as an option also and the uh, t-line orange spray uh, leak detection spray is also optional so you can you can just add the small bottle with the dispenser and or add the five liter bottle then or five liter can for for topping up or, or can be ordered ordered after so for the for the gas then um in ireland currently in ireland it's available from two sources uh boc and star gas um when you're ordering if you're ordering a kit from ourselves it's important for you to know which which of these two companies you're going to be getting the cylinder of gas from uh, because BO, boc currently use a bsp right hand thread we're screwing in here where uh, Stargas use a uh, BSP with a, a fitting same size but with a left hand tread. So, so we need to know this be 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 before you order. The reason we use a uh, nitrogen hydrogen mix is that hydrogen has the smallest molecules of any gas and we leak much faster and easier than other gases. So this, this will be a huge help and makes it a lot easier to find a leak in your, in your AC system. So to use this setup is very straightforward. So firstly, you connect your air AC machine and uh, do a recovery on the system. Remove all the gas, do, do full recovery. So then we um, get out our trolley and gauge, hook the gauge up here, connect up to the high and low pressure fittings. Then open the two, two valves. Then up here we set, make sure we have this, yeah, sorry, make sure the gauge is reading zero then as well. So now we set it, we set this valve to here. So now when we turn on the gas from the cylinder, it's gonna come through here and in, in through these two hoses and into the system. So now just open it, make sure our pressure regulator uh, adjustment is wound off at the moment. Open the valve on the on your cylinder, then start winding in here until we get it up to whatever pressure you want to set it at. Normally, 10 12 bar is fine, so we keep going until we get it around 12. It doesn't have to be exactly just set it there or thereabouts so now what we need to do next then is turn this valve this way to the middle so now that's disconnecting this, the, the pressure from the cylinder away from the system if we didn't turn it here and we had a leak as it would leak out the pressure in the cylinder would keep keep building up so you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to pick up the leak so when we turn it to here we're after isolating the cylinder pressure from the system 
So now we normally could just the, the little telltale pointer then in red, the red one here, we can just set it right on it. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare on this. So now what we do then is we just leave it sit there. Obviously, if you have a big leak, now you're gonna, you're gonna hear the gas this and out and you're gonna see the gauge dropping off quite quick. Um, if you have a big leak, you're going to hear it even before this point as you're winding on the regulator, you would have heard it. But um, in this case, then for, for small leaks or micro leaks, you, you're going to have to leave this system connected for at least a couple of hours to pick up if there's a leak or not. So generally, we leave it like this for about two hours, go away and do, do other work, come back to it later on. If it's not after dropping within two hours, two, three hours, you can be 99% confident in saying that you don't have a leak. And it's safe to go ahead and um, refill the system. So as you know, as gas and everything is so expensive at the moment, we, it's a great way of being sure that we're, we're, we're not going to lose it all within a couple of days. So in this case, with this vehicle, we know, we, we know already we have a leak but it's, it's a slight leak, so as you can see, it's not after stirring, and I know if we come back in an hour, the needle might be after barely dropping, but if you leave it two or three hours, you, you will see it, it, it'll drop off probably to about 10 bar. So if the gauges are dropping off after a couple of hours or they dropped off straight away, the next step then is, is to try find the leak. Um, the most common place to find a leak on cars and vehicles is the condenser, as it, it tends to get damaged from stone chips and so on. Um, but like that, you can have also leaks from, from many other places, o-rings, pipes, compressors, etc. Um, and there's a few different ways then to find to find the leak. So to to aid with finding the leak, then there's couple of different ways uh, you can use this this viscous this spray like the t-line orange leak detector spray it around all the different areas or suspected areas and if, if you have a leak you will see it it'll, it'll start bubbling so that works fine in areas that you can visually see so for example if we suspected a leak here on this joint you can um, just baby on it and if it was leaking it will eventually see it uh, start bubbling on it so that that works great and anywhere you can see or if you can access the front of the condenser you can spray the whole front of it or spray the area where you think the leak is but then um, it's it's not so good then for different areas or in between the condenser and the rod where you can't get in you can't get in with the spray so then your other option then is to or your other tool that you can use to aid in finding the leak even along with the, the spray is the, the sniffer and the sniffer is specific for hydrogen for hydrogen nitrogen the specific hydrogen nitrogen mix so with this tool then you have a just turn it on there we'll have to it will be beeping at the minute so when it powers on first you have to wait till it warms up cycles through the LEDs here as it's warming up um, also seeing it then as well there's when it's warmed up here now we have different options for sensitivity here so you can mute the sound on it so you can set the sensitivity here it will display kind of a calculated uh, leak size here and um, we'll, we'll turn the, the, the sound back on in a minute when you have the sound on and you come across the leak then the tone is going to change so um, so this, yeah, this is great, uh, especially for getting in in awkward areas. It's uh, like flexible. You can push it down between condensers and radiators and things like that. In inside and behind the dash, or in around the, get help around the evapor at the evaporators or pipes or joints in at the back of the engine and so on. Um, but um, just in so only maybe one disadvantage we had in certain cases is if it's a very small leak or micro leak you have to, you may, it may before to pick it up have to be held at the leak in area for a, f a few seconds so if you're just passing by a small leak any of these sniffers are not always 
accurate enough to pick it up. So in certain cases, you have to hold it pretty close and maybe move very slowly across an area that you think is, is leaking. Um, sorry, we'll just turn the, the sound back on in this again. So it beeps like this as normal when it's, when it's on. Um, so if we move along here, say for example on this on this joint. Uh, also these, these are very very sensitive. Sometimes if you make a sudden sudden movement or you're pushing it down in somewhere suddenly the speed of air going into the end of the the, the head can can even can affect it. Like for example if I blow towards it here, here it's it started to be so you just have to be careful, like if you're moving it around, when you move it to an area, just wait and let it settle down before you before you condemn it as being a leak. So say we can go around that giant along these hoses here. On this hole and pick pick up if, if you have a leak. So we have a fair idea the leak is down in this right hand corner on the condenser. So we're just going to go in here with the with the sniffer down into this area because we could see a stain on it. It's even starting to pick up a little bit here. So we're going to move it down in. So when we get in, we'll be able to let it settle now when it's in there. And we'll move it around the area that we're fairly sure is. Just change the sensitivity on it. So that's where the stain, the stain is on it. And then, um, just to be a hundred percent, I would like to get it to, to go off a couple of times, just to, just to be sure. So. That's confirmed, and we we have a leak. Just to show the the T line orange spray leak working as well. We'll just spray a bit of it if we can get it down onto that area. Sorry, I'm just checking did I did I get enough sprayed onto the infected area or the suspected area. So now normally with this I have to uh, leave it settle for a while and wait. Um just and before before it'll start bubbling out again depending on the size of the leak. So we'll just leave it for a moment and come come back to it in a few minutes here. So yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, we've confirmed the leak then is in the condenser, new condenser needed. Um, just show you there as well, in, in around an hour or so we were, um, or even half an hour we were doing the video, it's after dropping, the gauge is after dropping by, by that amount. So if we left the gauge on here for two hours, it's going to be gone below down 10 bar or more. So I um, reckon this, this vehicle would empty itself if we, if we had regassed it as it is, it would empty itself in a, in a couple of days. Or the AC would stop working after a couple of days. So um, last thing then is just to disconnect it all from the vehicle then. So we just make sure we're... Just 
shut everything off here. Make sure it's all off. And the half our pressure regulator here just for the next time we're going to be connecting up. Make sure it's off. And then when we turn the, this valve to the right, then we're going to vent the nitrogen hydrogen mix that's in the system out, out in this little uh, breeder here. So yeah, that's it then, um, disconnected then, and just we'll have to go ahead and do a repair on this vehicle. It needs a new condenser and then refill the system after.